counselors and school counselors to be thank you guys so much for coming to my channel the inspiring school counselor and today you guys we're going to be getting into another viewers question and as you guys already know i feel like what better way to address this question than to do it in a video because maybe you have this same exact question so i'm excited to be getting into this with you guys and hopefully you guys are excited too if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a video all right let's Let's get into it so you guys are going to be seeing me look down because i have a lot of my points and everything written out because i don't want to leave nothing out so let's go ahead and read this question so it says a teacher shares with you that a student misbehaves in class and believes the student may need to be evaluated how would you respond to this or what steps would you take one of the things that I would want to find out from the teacher is basically what steps has she done thus far to resolve the situation. Um, so what are the things that she has put in place? I will also want to see if she reached out to the parent and let the parent know about the student's behavior um, and if they have had any type of meetings on that. I want to know is what type of evaluation is this teacher wanting done on the student? I feel like this is very important because just to say that you want the student to be evaluated is very broad. There's many evaluations that can be done out there. So do you want the, t the student to be evaluated for special education? Do you want the student to be evaluated for maybe the, su the student is suicidal? Do you want the student to be evaluated for OTPT services? So I would want that teacher to be specific on what it is that they believe that this student need to be evaluated on. And then I will follow up with, okay, what type of behavior is this student you know presenting in your class um this is important because depending on the behavior this student probably doesn't need to be evaluated at all this student might just need individual counseling so i would definitely want to understand what type of evaluation needs to be done and what type of behaviors is this student having then the next thing i would do is Depending on the behaviors, depending on what's going on, then I would want to observe that student. Um, and you don't always have to do this. You don't have to always go in to observe. You just have to get a feel for the situation. But I would definitely want to observe this student just to figure out, okay, what type of behaviors is going on. I would want to know if this behavior is happening a certain time of day. So it's in the morning, is it in the afternoon, or is it, you know, in the middle of the day? Is it happening uh, after a certain activity or before? For a certain activity so I will be talking with this teacher just so that I know okay what time should I be coming in to observe of course I would want the student to know that I'm coming in to observe them because then they might not do what it is that they're doing because they want to be on their best behavior and also I would try to want to come in so that the student doesn't know that I'm in the room okay that is very important as well but if it is that I feel like an observation would fit, then I will then follow up with that. Another thing that I could do is I could pull that student in for individual counseling. Sometimes that's all the student needs is just somebody that will pull them in talk to them, try to figure out, okay, what's going on? So give you an opportunity as the counselor to figure out, okay, is there something going at home? And that's the reason why the student is acting out or is this, does this have anything to do with maybe other students that's in the class that might be bullying that student? So that's why that student is acting out or is it the teacher and how the teacher is, you know, acting towards the student? There's just a lot of things that you can get from that individual uh, counseling session. So I would also want to take that step. Another thing is depending on the behavior and what's going on with that student. Another thing that I would want to do is I would want to get the administrator and the parents involved in on this. And if we have to do a meeting where we all are together and we're having a meeting on this, then I would want to do that as well so that we can try to find out a way that we can help this student be successful in class and so that everything can, you know, kind of just work out for this student and for the teacher. And then from there, we can figure out if an evaluation needs to be done. Just to give you guys an example, I had a student that 
every time in class she would just act out if the teacher wanted her to do something she wouldn't want to do it so for instance if if they were taking a test she would not fill out anything on the test and so this made it very hard you know for the teacher to be able to evaluate her to see okay if she has moved on from the different things that they were teaching because she wouldn't fill out anything so we actually i went i observed the student I also have met with the parents, the teacher and the administrator. And we all talked about what evaluation services that could be done. The student just, you know, didn't want to talk. She was already a shy student and she didn't talk like hardly. And so um, we had to try to figure out, okay, what services can we gather to help the student feel more comfortable in talking and um, so that she can, you know, do well and succeed in school. Those are things that I would do to help address this situation. And I hope this was able to help you guys and give you guys a clear way of how you can deal with a situation that is similar to this. I thank you guys so much for your time. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.